so many people can relate not only emotionally but like physically to this. They grew up watching these horror films, and his his room was probably most rooms at that oh, age. Oh yeah, Fangoria so, magazine covers. Exactly. And, yeah, so yeah, I totally. think that's what's the awesome part of this. Yeah, and I love the idea. I was talking about this with the directors. Um, for those of us who grew up as outsiders into all that mm -hmm. sort of culture as kids, that Norman has like this special gift, this ability that act, that's making him an outsider, but also ultimately empowers Helping him, him. And saves everyone. Yeah, I'm sure on the inside he really loves that 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 I guess you could call it power, because um, it's what he loves. He loves the dead. He loves horror films, and that's kind of his gift. That's what he loves to do. Um, and when people bully him for that or don't understand him, he doesn't really fit in his family or school. Um, it, it doesn't phase him because he loves who he is and he just continue that. Now, I was just talking about this with uh, some of your coworkers. Um, towards the end of making this movie was right when your voice changed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How difficult was that to, to deal with? That was the, probably the biggest challenge because, um, you know, everything is about the voice. So right. I had to try and guide myself and keep it up in the higher voice. Of, I mean, you sound like a dude, right? Norman. Now. You sound like a kid in the movie. Right? You know? I, I see it. I think that's the cool part, too. It's kind of like a time capsule of that mm -hmm. voice because I see it as Norman, not really Cody. So it's really cool. Uh, yeah. And if you guys do Paranorman, too, then he's going to have to be like 20. Or I could just play someone else. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, you're, now you're the judge. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so what do you think a story like this has to offer kids? Um, because I, I think it's all about the message of being empowered by being an outsider. And do you have thoughts on what, yeah. what kids will take away from it? Well, I think kids will just take away that, you know, it was a great adventure movie. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's, it can be sad. And also it shows adults and kids that, you know, being scared is okay. And, you know, stick to who you are. Face your fears. And, and um, yeah, it's, it's a very deep story. But I think it, it also shows adults how to be a kid again. You can enjoy yourself. Totally. Yeah. And did you did you have like a appreciation or fascination with stop motion before this, and did you get a big education on it? Or yeah, I, I appreciated it, but I I feel kind of bad because I didn't know how much work went into doing it until okay. I worked on one. And even before recording, I started recording, and then uh, I was I went to uh, the Portland set and I saw all the stuff they were doing, and I didn't even know that while I was recording, and I, it just made me like motivate me work harder and uh, do better on Norman. Right, because you're thinking, man, these guys are yeah, these so guys hard, are working crazy. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Did you uh, were you able to get a hold of any of the props? Do you have a little Norman to keep? Um, they didn't give me actually one from the recording, uh, maybe in the filming stuff. Uh, but they gave me this little Norman kind of statue, and he's in a glass container, so it's really cool.